down in it, not even my church, it just, but it just made me sad to see the shuttered doors of any church, mosque, synagogue, just where people would gather to worship. Um, you, like so many others, have brought it into um, uh, Zooms and online services. But um, what do you think that that's brought you to the can't table, especially during this not read the whole Bible, and no, they're not teaching you something from earlier. <laughs> Every time I yeah, they're not even know something. No, no. It don't Every fit. Deborah and Huldah are in the New Old Testament Christ too. Had, right? So is Mary, I know, and Mary Magdalene. Right? One of the Marys was bestowing labor to the, the apostles. <laughs> it's either the mother of Jesus, right? James and Jesse, and Salome. <laughs> Right. Which is his sister. But their problem is, is that they right. are having their issues with the people who represent him. That's what Lecrae was saying earlier. And so they are enthralled with the spirituality, but they are rejecting organized religion. And um, so spirituality is this search for God. So what we did is said, people are searching for God. So how are we going to find ways for them to connect? We don't have our physical buildings anymore. And since the building is shut down, should the seeking for Christ or the seeking for God or, or whatever religion you are, what should that, should that subside because our synagogues and our mosque and our temples are closed? Yeah. We didn't think so. So we oh. opened it up to Zoom. We streamed our services and recognized that people are less critical of the church now than they've ever been before because the church is actually doing now what we said we always should be doing. And that is to get outside of the walls of the church. Bianca and Nicole, I always wonder why someone would participate in something like this. Because you're on national TV. My Twitter will be blowing up. People will be commenting about this. I don't have a choice. That's what I do for a living. You had a choice. Bianca, why did you want to participate but in But you're picking like these, these people out of the hat? How do you know these people and why do you agree with what they're saying? They're not challenging you religiously. They, they, they basically believe the same thing you believe. Right. Um, but so do I, except I go to the androgynous level and you're still Melanchia. Ah. Uh, and we're all androgynous. You're mom and dad. Right, right. You're not dad only. You're not mom only. That's their Satanism, man. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost cannot exist without mother, daughter, too. The matter of the matter. The matter is the brother. <laughs> the spirit is the father, right? And together we're creatures made in its image, right? As neither Jew nor Jezab on our free, male nor female. Black nor white, right? Gay nor straight, right? And sometimes we feel transgendered about it, right? Participate in this risky conversation for a daytime show to take on, <laughs> um, but nevertheless, here we are. Well, do you ever At times, really um, I remember when I thought I looked like the Virgin Mary, <laughs> is that, um, but I don't dwell on it. <laughs> but this was when I was around 12, <laughs> 13, right? But like I said, right? <laughs> as a boy, I was thought of as a girl. And when I went and got my hair cut one time. <laughs> but so would you, Chris Domkowski. Don't tell me you don't look like a girl at our age. <laughs> and that you were doing to me what someone else did in the tub with you too, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> but I forgive you, Chris. I don't dwell on it, Chris. I get over it, Chris, because I found women way more attractive than you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> right, and I forgive you for trying to make me gay with you, <laughs> which you're the aggressor if I'm asleep. <laughs> And I'm, and I'm having a wet dream about the girl, not you. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm 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 having sex with someone in my wet dream. I'm hopping the bed, not you. <laughs> They're not even on my mind. You were never on my mind. <laughs> you were never on my mind. Or it is a kind of soulless, spiritually dead, perfunctory. The girl was. The girl was. <laughs> 
And I'm helping her. This And I'm not either. You, you are, dude. So if I include the hermaphrodites, right, and you can't even look at them on the porno sites, right, without thinking, oh, the masseum, what you see? But you're seeing what happened in Eden with Adam and Eve. Yes, you are. You know it. You know it. <laughs> but why can they do it that way? And they're not doing it the same way. Yeah, no, no, no. Adam was a virgin. Right? <laughs> you know what I mean. And Satan shamed him. Right? But he did it. He wouldn't let him say nothing. Right? He wouldn't let him stop. He said, we had a deal. We had a deal. We had a deal. You agreed. Didn't he? Didn't he? Right. <laughs> and wouldn't let you say no until he finished. And by then you were fucked up. Right <laughs> after. You knew you were naked. <laughs> you knew you were naked. And he shamed you so badly you wanted to use a damn fig leaf to cover your damn penis, right? <laughs> and uh, and what part would the female sin with her vagina and her butt do, right? <laughs> He's introducing you to anal sex, too. The obscure sex. <laughs> but it's natural, too. Why is it both, right? You can do it in either hole. You can do it in either hole. Why can you do it in either hole? Because there might be a time with someone <laughs> when the population is so high <laughs> when you might need some people to be a little gay or a little <laughs> anal sex gets in there, <laughs> But Satan did it to confuse us and condemn us about it, right? And make us ashamed of it, right? Right. But where there is no shame, there is no sin, right? You forgive the sin, right? You forgive the sinner trying to rape you. Even if you like women, you can't stop it, right? You're trying to. <laughs> even if they're killing you <laughs> before or after the sex. <laughs> that means they want to survive. They don't care if you're dead or alive, <laughs> But resurrecting from the dead is still resurrecting from the dead. <laughs> Even if it's multiple times. And yes, I'm fully healed like the Wolverine every day, but you've been knowing that too. Right? You know what you're doing here right? to me while I'm waiting for my life. Right? And I'm still waiting on her. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who she is. You don't know her. She is. Like any man, I have a limited knowledge, a limited understanding. I have to learn as I go. Right? We all do. We all do. <laughs> and you know why it says there's none that doeth good? No, not one now, right? We're not perfect. We make mistakes. And then we blame God for our parents dying. Like Bobby got shot. Well, Joey shot him, right? <laughs> but why is that, right? Because they had a disagreement. They they got mad about something. And he had the gun. It's easier to shoot someone than love someone, right? And all Bobby Mike could have done was not hit him up and knock him out or something. If he didn't have a weapon, right? My dad didn't carry around a gun. But Joey did have one. Joey had one. So again, he shot my dad. And shot his dad and little Bobby's dad, right? Even if he passed away in prison, little Bobby is still his son. Right? So am I. So am I. It don't matter which gene it came from, who it came from, right? See, I don't know when the Lancasters even got here, but if one of them had a slave girl, <laughs> and again, by this time, right, is still in the gene pool, I don't know. We don't know, right? 
It all depends on when she was introduced or he was introduced. So it's either also a she or a he too, right? And I don't know how long the Ron and Lancasters were here. I only know Henry Lancaster as my granddad, and right, that's all I know about him for sure, for sure. But we all have past. It's not going to disappear, right? It's not going to go away, right? Just like Jesus has a genealogy, so do we. So do we. <laughs> Good or bad, right? We can't say, you know. The Arabic and African could be from Khan or it could be from the other guess or not, we don't know, right? It sounds on a tune. What about it? It sounds on a tune. But now, for me to impersonate what he's doing now. This is the first time I heard this song, right? Right. I can't do it now. But then we go to the suffering of Job, right? It's not that God par promised you a rose garden. No, no. We had the rose garden. He told us not to do the evil with Satan. We did with Satan. But we did it anyway. We did it anyway. <laughs> but to become as one of them, to know good and evil with him, is the whole point of everything up to that one scripture. <laughs> it don't matter what he showed us. He taught us good and evil. Not Jesus and God, all right? It don't matter if it was sex with him or you put a banana up your butt. <laughs> Get the point of the temptation right there. He's teaching you something obscure that even you knew you shouldn't have done. <laughs> After you did it. <laughs> but he also does it to condemn you and he has to do it with you somehow, right? <laughs> But do you normally, like I asked you, stick a banana up your butt? But who would put that idea in your head to stick a banana up your butt? Satan? Right. <laughs> Here's an example. It's an example. <laughs> but can you do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but why don't you do it? It's taboo. It's forbidden. You're not supposed to do it. Right. <laughs> but... Why could you be gay as an adult over 18 or 16? But it's kind of frowned upon when you're a child or when you're dating. Right? Again, who's making you gay? Is it you or those around you see you as gay? Right? Do you really feel gay? Uh, are they trying to make you feel gay? Right? I don't know. These are questions you gotta ask God. How, how do you feel? Right? Personally, if you feel gay, you feel gay. Okay, I understand. Right? You're at the age of consent, too. I know. And love is greater than what Satan did, right? It was not done in love, it was done evilly, hatredly. He hated you for being with you. Mm -hmm. That's the point, right? Mm -hmm. And to care, and to care. Right? But I'm critiquing the whole show, right? <laughs> See, how many episodes has she had so far, right? Two, two. Um, this is season two, episode 108, right? Now, under fair use, you could use at least 10%, right? Right? So, if I do this show for the faith issues, 
and discuss it with you, what am I doing? Critiquing the whole shit. Right. I'm critiquing certain parts of it, too. I'm, I'm not getting all the details to you. I'm also commenting, giving you my opinion, right? And telling you where I'm coming from, and again, right? So I'm critiquing, but not condemning, right? Either, either. I'm discussing it with you about how you feel, about how I feel, why do you feel this way? And do you think if you feel the same way tomorrow, right? Or you feel differently tomorrow, does God condemn you either way? No, no. Are you comfortable if you feel gay or straight? Right? How long have you been comfortable with the idea? Right? And do you feel like you have a partner you can trust to do that with? Right? That's the problem too. Right? See, that's the love that they're not speaking his name. <laughs> According to some people, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And people want to get out again. I know. We think you're doing it to control the population, too. We think you release COVID. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> I know. We think you're doing it on purpose to kill off all the old folks. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> You cannot tell me you are not prepared for this since the Spanish flu. No, no, no. We don't believe you, government. We think you're trying to murder us. No, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> and some people just don't give it in anymore. They're they're tired of this COVID shit. <laughs> they're tired of hearing about it. They're tired of everybody saying we're gonna get it. It's no different to them than the flu. I know. <laughs> and who are these crazy people on TV anyway? We don't know them. I don't. It seems media driven, right? It don't seem to be one truth in it, right? If I got it, I don't know. I had it, and I never raised my fever a bit, right? The whole time, all the. Turns out, but got ninety nine. <laughs> but the Buddhists and the Shaolin can control their body temperatures a little bit, a little bit. Is that what I'm doing? Or is that what God's doing for me? Right? To make me think I don't have COVID. <laughs> that did that to his face. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Because hearing comes by the word of God. And, uh, faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the mouth or word of God. Who is the word of God in your life? You or Satan or the people who had COVID or the people who don't or the people reporting on it. That's right. I don't know Dr. Fauci. Who the fuck is he? <laughs> who, who the hell is Dr. Fauci to be? Nobody. <laughs> but I'm trying to help both those who have it and those who don't. Those paranoid about it and those who aren't. Right? See, I'm help, trying to help everyone. All have sin. All are lacking in faith. All are struggling to find God, right? Including me. Including you. I don't not include me. <laughs> I always include me. <laughs> but it could be paranoia they rape me. It could be they rape me. I don't know which. If you black me out, you know what all you did. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to forgive you because I know you blacked me out over some bullshit. Right? <laughs> You're trying to charge me with <laughs> And I'll still get the shot on the 18th at 1 a.m. on p.m. <laughs> it's not the point. Right. It's to help those who both have it and those who don't. Right. Though I never had it. I never went above 100 drinks. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> and you got to be 100.4 to even have a taste of the fever, right? And it could be just the fever. You don't know. All right. <laughs> but if you're looking for COVID, <laughs> can the flu virus become the COVID virus? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> right. 
Do you believe it? But at the same time, do you have it and don't believe you have it? That's a problem too. You can have COVID and think it's a cold or the flu. Right? Mm -hmm. That can be a problem too. That can also explain why it's still spreading. And only in New Zealand. Hey, good afternoon, TJ. Let's begin right now with worries of a potential spring break surge. Now take a look at Florida here. Large crowds, few masks, and similar scenes in other popular vacation hotspots alarming <coughs> health officials. Dr. Anthony Fauci warning Americans not to spike the ball before getting to the end zone of this pandemic. And winter getting in last licks, dumping it. Are you talking volleyball or football? <laughs> Spiking this volleyball. <laughs> Ends on this football. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, don't have a, you know, <laughs> ends on me. <laughs> to Illinois on alert for turbulent winter weather. At the border, the influx of migrant children hunt wake conditions in those massive tents. Many and I'm just showing you, Officer Martin. Why, you and the bus driver seem to be in cahoots to me. And like you're trying to screw me over, both of you. And the judge, too. And Judge Barry. And everyone at Kia Country. Because you don't want me to have the money I need to survive, right? And you don't know what I need to survive, right? You just don't want to help me. <laughs> That should be made up. That should be made up. If it's not, I don't know what's happening. Right. <laughs> and I'm telling you that. I don't know what's happening. More Grammys than any other singer in history. And her daughter, Blue Ivy, with the scene-stealing moment, becoming the second youngest Grammy winner in history. And I tell you, that entire family, just generations of talent from the Beyonce and Jay-Z family tree. Back but to you. Do you feel like they're mm, not talented or over talented, or they're just the ones they want in the spotlight now because they're butt? And uh, see, what's your hang up with them? <laughs> Right. Okay. 